obviously it's sort of disappointing end for Liam there having to retire there. What were your thoughts of and what was the injury there on that? Well, he's been struggling with an elbow problem the last six months, so uh, hopefully he can get over it. But most players, they have to play with a little bit of pain in their body and they sometimes have to find a way to get it through. But unfortunately today, he, he couldn't find a solution to the problem. Yeah, he obviously had a medical timeout, came back, give it a go, but then he just, just wasn't able to carry on then. Yeah, he wasn't, but th th these things happen in sports and hopefully he can resolve this issue and then move forward. Yeah, obviously he's one of a number of young British um, men here at the tournament. What, have you, what are your sort of thoughts on the young British players coming through? Well, I think, you know, in, in this event here we have in Sutherland, obviously it's a futures event, which is the lowest on the on the Pro Tour where you can play. And we have 21 Brits in the draw, which is, which is great. And, uh, you know, obviously Ed Corey uh, won last week in Bath, and then you had Dan Evans, and you had all the other boys um, doing well. So it's uh, it's about progressing and getting these boys up from the futures to the challengers and on to the main tours. But uh, only time will tell if they can put it together. Yeah, how important are events like that in that experience, and obviously from yourself? Uh, sort of well, I, I think it, it's a good experience, but once you turn professional you want to try to be out of these events in about two years maximum three years because you can get stuck in the loop of playing these events consistently because you feel comfortable and that's something we're trying to get with the younger generation to get out of here rather than being here for four or five years if you're stuck here for four or five years you're usually not making it even close to the top level of tennis so uh, you know if, if you're seeing guys coming for a year four five six seven um, their prospects of making it to the the very top of the game are, are very low yeah, and obviously the facilities here in Sunderland are excellent. What have you made of that where you've been here today? Well, I think the facilities have been fantastic. I think, you know, with, with all the money they put into the courts, eight new courts, swimming pool, kids' areas, gym, uh, you couldn't ask for more. It's absolutely a brilliant facility, and uh, I hope all the tennis players and people in Sutherland use it because it's brilliant. Yeah, and obviously now Liam's out. Who, who have you sort of got any eyes on and who you think might make it towards the finals? Or? Well, you've got to go with the guys that are the older generation. You know, with Ed, with Ed Corey, he's just come out of university. He's been playing great the last few weeks. Dan Evans obviously has won and had a finals a few of the weeks over there and um, you know they've, they've got to be the two guys to look out for and if, if Josh Goodall is feeling healthy he's probably the third player in here but uh, don't be surprised if Smethurst or uh, or uh, Alex Ward come through as well. And finally I can't think of really about a quick word on Andy Murray what do you think about his sort of season what he's going to do for the rest of the year? Well it's very interesting you know obviously um, after the Australian Open getting to the finals it's a great result so you'd expect him to finish the season probably in the top two in the world but uh, a certain Nadal showed up after eight months of injury and has been magnificent, uh, you know, getting to the final, winning Indian Wells, I should say, and winning two other clay courts events. So uh, I think the battle for number one will be between Mr. Djokovic, Mr. Nadal, and Mr. Murray. So uh, it's going to be an exciting summer of tennis and a year of tennis. Brilliant. And I know obviously you say about these sort of tournaments having to go out and progress to the next stage. What was your experience like sort of at this level? And was there any sort of obscure places you had to go in order to get that experience? Well, I started playing these events when I was 15, so it's so a very, very young age. And uh, when I turned pro, still in the juniors, I, w I was 17. I went to Israel during the Gulf War um, and played four events in Israel because we used to have to play four events. One that uh, circuit, which were called satellites in my days. Then in February, I played one in France, won that one. And then after that, it was challenges and tour events by the time I was already 18 years of age. So uh, I jumped out of there very quickly. 